Hi there, South Florida. Grab the rain gear. It's going to be on and off showers. We've been dealing with this uh, since the very early morning hours. And uh, we're seeing the rain in Broward now lighten up a little bit. So Coconut Creek down to parts of Pompano Beach and even Wilton Manors, just some light rainfall. Also light rainfall pushing away from Fort Lauderdale Airport over I-95 and 595 as well. Even Plantation getting a little bit of that light drizzle. And you can see in Davie and Cooper City with some light rainfall as well. Down into northwest Miami-Dade. It was raining for you in Hialeah and Hialeah Gardens. That shower, it's heavy, uh, but it's moving away from the area now, impacting uh, basically parts of West Okeechobee, Okeechobee Road and then out into the Turnpike. Also, the rain that was over to Miami and Sweetwater is now moving westward over um, over US 41. Now, down into southwest Dade, Redland area, it's a heavy downpour for you, including in Homestead. The Middle Keys dealing with showers. Uh, these are now starting to pull away on the Gulf side. And in the Lower Keys, just a little sprinkle for you in Key West is moving through. Uh, but finally, some drier conditions uh, between Big Coppet and Big Coppet Key and Kudjo Key that have been dealing with rain since early on this morning. But even though we're going to start heading Heading into a break from the rainfall, still have in mind that it is quite a wet day for us. So as we head into the middle of the afternoon by 3 o'clock, thunderstorms will pop up once again, especially over Palm Beach County and Broward. Miami-Dade so far looking good at this hour at, or at that hour at 3 o'clock. But then after that, Miami-Dade will get some scattered showers and thunderstorms, including the Keys as well. So. As we head into midweek and the second half of the week, we're still going to be dealing with a lot of moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. And especially once we get the approach of this cold front, it's an early season cold front, it's not going to sweep through to bring us the drier air behind it, but it will get close enough. And what's going to happen is we'll have the flow out of the southwest. And of course, that will definitely steer the thunderstorms towards the east metro areas. But we're still under this very light easterly wind before we get to Thursday and Friday out ahead of that front. However, the easterly breeze today and tomorrow is not strong enough, so some of those showers and thunderstorms are going to pass through rather on the slow side. Also, that front I just mentioned, it's moving through the Midwest and into parts of the South today and eventually getting into the Northeast later on tomorrow. Now, let's take a look at this cold front because it does enter North Florida later on Wednesday and then dives down into Central Florida and then here comes the front, but it kind of hits the brakes on Thursday. So we might have to be uh, watching out for some stronger thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. Look at this. This is not the sun. This is a harvest moon. Oh, it looks so gorgeous out there. It's been very cloudy, so not everyone's getting to see it today.